What's going on everybody? All right, so job site tour time. Before we get started, keep notes, pause it before, and I'll tell you where to pause it so you guys can practice bidding this kind of workout. This is a, well, it's a colonial two-story house, obviously because of the load-bearing stuff, but uh, we're only working on the first floor. So I'll roll the little video here and then we can, I'll tell you exactly what we're gonna be doing and then you can pause it and kind of practice bidding it yourself and I'll tell you what I bid this job as. Let's roll it. All right, we're wearing pink because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. If you know anybody that might be at risk in your family or your friends, make sure you tell them to go get checked out. You just, you just never know, right? Yeah. I love you, Mama. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the video. All right, trailer, wall, LVL, down. It's actually stopping right there. This is getting the cabinet. So this is all gonna be open, relocating HVAC, electrical. This is all open, open, and then stops here. And then we've got another beam. We're gonna run this way. This is going away. And then we've got to reinforce up here so that this wall can go away. All the ceiling's going. Taking out this closet, pushing this back. Um, this is gonna go as well, pushing this back as well. And then redoing all this, this was a bathroom leak. All the carpet's going. So, and I'll throw in a couple pictures before what it looked like before, but that's what we got. All right, so basically, um, demoing all the floor and stuff, I'm gonna be throwing some pictures. I like I said before, and throwing them in here, what, what it looks like now. Uh, two bit like that one long uh, load bearing wall, and then also another one that's gonna be stacked on top of it, so two total of 32 linear feet of load bearing beams being installed so just that's that's what you want to if you want to do by linear feet that's what it is total of 32 oh, i'm sorry 30 okay, 18 and then 12 so a total of 30 feet uh, i'm not doing the kitchen counters uh that or the kitchen uh cabinets that's not included in the price and not doing the floors either I am doing all the drywall. So we've got about 40 sheets of drywall that's going in. We've got a, um, if you guys want to do this, we got four, um, actually six outlets, 110 volt outlets. If that's you or your electrician, we got those going in. One pop-up electrical outlet in the center of, the, or in the, in the island itself, which is going to be cut in by the countertop. So we don't have to do the cut in of the counter, just the wiring itself. And then we've got, what else we got? Um, I'm not gonna include the HVAC, that's gonna be paid on it separately, but we, re, we gotta relocate a bunch of plumbing and HVAC. That's probably, I'm just gonna let you know, that's gonna be around between probably seven to 10 grand right there because we gotta run it around. So, I mean, the house was never built and engineered to be that this open, so we're, we're, we're opening it up for sure. So, and then, yeah, that's pretty much, we're, we're adding six lights relocating two uh, two-way switches for lighting and uh, that's yeah I'm thinking that's about it so go ahead and pause it right in here and then after this I'll come back I'll tell you what uh, my bid was for this and the change orders that are in suit all right guys so we got 38 boards four by eight sheets of drywall I'm at 140 a piece that's going to give me fifty three hundred dollars in drywall that's finished that's hung finished glued and screwed I believe uh, code in my area, I think it, uh, I have to double check, but I think it's every eight to 10 inches screwed and glued, I believe. Or maybe it's a little more if it's not, if it's if it's glued, it's a little more, but anyways. Um, and then that gives me about $5,300, give or take, with that, with the drywall finishing. You've got an 18 foot and a 12 foot LVL beam. Those are our stacks. So just, you know, encodes your area, make sure you have your load points correct. Um, and then there's also what's not pictured in this is we did some demo work in that closet and that one wall is load bearing. So we have another eight foot. So a total of 38 feet of load bearing. Um, the eight, the 18 foot, which, which we were actually quoted due, that is about eight grand, $8,300. Now that is including um, the permit. And that's also including, we have to reinforce the basement because there is a basement under here, under the floor. 
So that load point has to go through the basement, through all the way down to the basement floor. So you've got to make sure that that, that wall, basically, if you're making a, a load bearing wall for that beam, it's got to, you know, it, the, the load's got to go all the way to the basement itself. So that's including that. So that's obviously job depending. We do have a 12 foot and another eight foot LVL beam that we've got to put in because the closet we took out, the one wall is load bearing, which it's not out obviously yet, but it will be. So those are going to be cheaper just because I'm already on site. Um, I can, you know, material cost, there's no permits and, and then they're actually smaller beams. So I don't need three or four guys to get that baby up there. I can do it with just two, myself and AJ. So the 12 foot is going to run you about $4,200 and the eight foot is going to run you $1,900. And this is materials included as well. So, and this is post COVID at the time of this video, October, 2021. So obviously prices may change and we're painting everything. So we're painting about $1,400. Uh, square feet that's including the kitchen ceiling the kitchen walls the the um yeah pretty much 1400 square feet so you're looking at about 2900 dollars for that <sighs> i think that gives me about 22,000 a little more 22,000 dollars for this entire project that doesn't include um electrical uh that is going to be depending on your you know your electrician and that doesn't include uh, HVAC or plumbing because we do have to run some more plumbing. So, you know, they're, it's going to be a pretty penny, but at the same time, that's that's what they want to do. So like and subscribe, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys would have charged for this. I'm not going to speak on other trades as far as uh, the electrical. I know what I would charge for it, but I mean, that's I'm not licensed to do that. So guess what? We'll leave that to the uh, people who are. Appreciate it. Thank you.